You're a third class cut. Get back in the stowage where you belong. Hey y'all, I'm James Wright. Welcome to my shop. Now in the last video I had two different people ask me what is a knife wall? And I thought, you know, I've never done a video on a knife wall and I don't think I've ever seen anyone actually do a video about what is a knife wall, how to make it, and what is it there for. And I thought this might be a great opportunity to talk about first class, second class, and third class cuts. This is a subject that was kind of uh, formalized and made popular by Shores and uh, it's kind of a cool idea. So I wanted to show you guys um, a quick way that you can use a marking knife to make a better cut. So let's actually start in the stowage. These are the people who are going to sink on the Titanic because they have no money. This is the third class cut. Now the third class cut is just by making a mark or not even with a mark, although most of the time your cuts are gonna be following a mark on a board. And so I'm gonna put a mark on here and we wanna cut this board at that line. This may be a rough cut for general sizing of lumber. This may be a cut for, you know, I just need to get it somewhere in the ballpark. And this cut is just a line on a board and a cut. Now I put the line on the opposite side, so it's going to be a little more difficult for me to follow. But uh, once it's developed, it should follow kind of nicely. But that being said, it's a third class cut. It don't need to be pretty, and if I'm not following the line, they're not following the line. Now one of the things you're going to notice about it, there are a lot of burrs on the back side where it has pushed off the, uh, the back fibers. So this is not going to be a really nice cut. You have to clean those up and you're going to have a slightly rounded corner. On the side closest to you, you're still going to have a fairly sharp edge, but yeah, oh well. Now a second class cut is where you take the pencil and you throw it out the window because uh, a, a pencil is really not an accurate way to make a mark. And you have the thickness of the lead line that you have to mess with. What I want to do is grab a marking knife. And I'm going to do basically the exact same thing, but I'm going to put the marking knife line on here. And with the marking knife, now what I'm actually doing is I'm cutting the fibers. So now what I have here is a marking line and I want to keep this piece and this piece here is scrap or trash. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay on this side of the line and I'm going to cut down. And that cut is going to make it so that the blowout from the fibers doesn't happen on this side of the line. Let's give it a try and see what happens. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stay away from the line on this because I can always plane back to that line or chisel back to that line. And so what I've got here is I've stayed a good ways away from that line and so I'm going to come in with a chisel and clean out that mess or I'm going to uh, you put it on the shooting board and clean up that mess and take it back to that cut that I made. And you can see how that cut is actually still very, very sharp. There are no frayed edges on that edge. And it's a good way to just get you where you want to be um, without having to spend too much time. So rather than using the pencil, you're using a marking knife and that is creating a knife wall. The last class is the first class, and this is where you spend a little more time. You want to get that final cut, and you want, when you're done with the saw, to have the cut you're looking for. So what you're going to end up doing is the exact same thing as before. You want to try and make this mark a little deeper, so I'll do three or four passes. So now that we've marked all the way around the board just as we did before, this is what's going to make the difference between a first class and a second class. Is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to chisel out a chunk. And this chunk is going to do a couple things. Number one, you have that knife wall on there that is going to give you a nice clean edge, but this chiseled out chunk is going to kind of be a starting curve that the saw can ride in. And that's going to keep the saw up against that marking knife line without going over it. So I'm just gonna go all the way around, chopping out this little bit and taking that little bit more time to remove that dross. And sometimes if you want to, you can come in now and lay that line a little deeper. Cut down a little bit more. A little deeper line is easier for, a saw to easier for the saw to follow. And now what you have 
is this notch that kind of pulls the saw over to that marking gauge line. And this way, theoretically, you should be able to get all the way down. You want to take your time, follow the line, and let that knife wall pull the saw along. Now you may have to do a little bit of cleanup, but if you do it well, you might not have any cleanup at all. And you can have a usable joint right off of the saw. And there you have it. I've cut flush on that line all the way along. Got a really nice cut. If you look closely at the end here, you can still see the marking, the knife wall right here, where I cut down to that point. And then I've cut along that line. So there's a really nice clean line, one pass with the plane or chisel, and that is a perfectly smooth end, ready for work. So that is a third class cut. So first class leaves a burr like that, it's a mess. Second class is going to leave a bit of work for you to come back and clean up. And then the third class is going to give you a work right off of the saw so you can go directly into joinery. So there's a quick look at what a knife wall is and how you can use a knife to make a better cut. It's a fairly simple thing that's been around for ages and ages. It's a very, very old technique, but a very, very useful one. So next time you're looking at a cut, ask yourself, does this cut need the high quality of a knife wall? Or is this just kind of for rough dimensional sake? Do I even need to make a knife mark? Uh, just quickly make a cut and do a third class cut. That's all you need. Sometimes you need to get a little closer. A second class cut might be a little closer. And then you're doing that final joinery when you want to make everything perfect right off of the saw. That's when you want to pull out the knife and the chisel and make a first class cut and do a quality job of it. So I hope you like this. It was a uh, kind of a fun one to jump back into some of the basics. If you'd like to see more videos about this, let me know. If there's any particular topic you'd like to hear about, let me know as well. I do want to say thank you to the patrons on Patreon. You guys are the reason why I can keep putting out videos. If you'd like to help out with Patreon or find out more about what Patreon is, you can do so right down there. Also, if you'd like to subscribe, you can do so right here. And uh, some behind the scenes footage at my second channel. That's about it for today. And until next time, have a wonderful day.